Hey, you! Yeah, you! What? Do you wanna go from this? TO THIS MOTHER- <laughs> Well, keep watching! Hello, people in there, what's going on? I'm the Matty Wood to welcome back to another video. If you can't already tell by the baggy t-shirt and man shorts I'm wearing, this is my most requested video ever. This is my workout. Before we begin with the actual workout, I just want to warn you guys that this video could be incredibly cringy. I mean, it could be more cringy than fucking Jacob Sartorius and Matty B raps is inbred kid. Or, you know, this guy. New kid on the block. Come on, let's do this. Look, man, you know I'm the best. You guys need to have a rest. I see you, you think you're stressed. Cause you know that I'm the best. Send to me and I'll send back. I think we need a quick chat. Anyway, guys, we do start with very simple dumbbell curls. Um, We're going to do 10 of these with... A weight you feel comfortable with, you know, I, I'm doing this here with uh, 10 kilos. I could go heavier, you know, I, I I don't find it easy, but I don't find it that challenging. Um, just make sure you bring your arm all the way up when you do it, you know, you bend your elbow fully. Because that's going to engage the whole of your bicep, rather than just a little bit of it. So make sure you bend your arm all the way up when you uh, when you do a bicep curl with a weight you feel comfortable with you know if you don't have dumbbells just use your school bag or something with your books in you can do a lot of these with anything you don't have to have dumbbells or any specific equipment next up we go to push ups just do um, you know I'd, I'd say um, five of these um, you, you don't need to do too many you know a lot of you will be thinking oh five that's not a lot Matt Trust me, by the end of this, you will feel it. Um, I tried to do a couple more at the end, and this was after I hadn't worked out for a couple of days, uh, I'd missed a few days. I found it knackering. Then going on to what I just call the advanced dumbbell curl. Um, you start with a normal dumbbell curl, and then at the top, you're going to want to twist your, uh, your wrist, so it's facing away from you, and then bring it back down. And that's going to work, you know, work your forearm as well as your bicep um, just because you're having to um, keep that that dumbbell up you're not just letting your arm drop down so uh, these are a lot more challenging than regular bicep curls I'd recommend doing probably 10 or so um, if you, you know at, these are only recommendations if you want to go higher you can if not then uh, you know if, if you can only manage four then that's fine you know if you just do this for if you do as many as you can then, you know, it's better than just sitting on your ass playing FIFA, which is what I do 90% of the time anyway. Also guys, I am going to point out, this is uh, just weight training. I, uh, I I tend to do this after cardio, you know, while the testosterone is flowing. I'm fast as fuck, boy! <laughs> um, and also, you may as well get it done all in one go, that way you only have to shower once afterwards. And then you can go back to doing whatever. Um, so yeah, I I would do this after cardio uh, if that's what you guys wanted to do as well. Because I am unfit as fuck, so I uh, I am trying to do a bit more cardio. And next up, we uh, we have planking. I didn't sign this exactly, um, which was a mistake. Do you want to go for around 30 seconds? I did count in my head. So this should be um, about 30 seconds. But again, with the weights, if you guys can't do 30 seconds, do less. If you find 30 seconds too easy, go for longer. And what I'm doing there is, um, you know, alternating legs, bringing your knee up to your chest. That you c it's, it's just little things like that, you know, adding things in to make it more challenging. Those little things, if you do them consistently, are going to make it so much more challenging and so much more rewarding for you. So we are coming up to the 30 second mark here. Yeah, planking. Um, I, I presume you all know how to do it. If not, then you probably shouldn't be watching this video. 
Although the majority of you are just watching it to, um, to take the piss. And next up, I believe we have um, shrugs. So uh, quite simply, just uh, take the dumbbells or weights, you know, bags, whatever you've got in your hands, and you're going to want to shrug, not rapidly, just um, nice and controlled. And this is going to work your uh, your shoulders. Um, a lot of people underestimate your shoulders, you know. If you've got massive biceps and forearms, not that I do, and then, you know, tiny shoulders, you're going to look stupid. Um, and, you know, if you're on a body like me, you're going to have to work hard on your shoulders. So, um, yeah, I'd say do, again, just as many of these as you can. I think I did about 15 there. Um, I've just done cardio again. So, um, you know, if not, then I'd say try and do five, ten more, uh, if you aren't doing cardio at the same time, just to challenge yourself a bit more. Um, so I, what I try to do with this is engage as many um, muscles as possible, so you know, forearms, biceps. I didn't do uh, tricep curls with this, which normally I would, but um, I actually pulled my triceps the other day doing tricep curls. I, um, I went back too far. Um, and I pull my triceps on. I'm just leaving those out for a few days. And what we do, we want to seal up now. Um, again, using the dumbbells in as many ways as possible to hold my feet down. Um, I think I did 10 here. Um, again, do more if you feel comfortable. Do less if you don't feel like you could manage 10. Um, as, lo as long as you, you know, attempt this, then I I'm proud of you. Well done, guys. Oh no, maybe I did more than 10, maybe I did 15, I don't know. So once you finish with the sit-ups, you are going to want to um, take the dumbbells again. Please remember guys, if you feel out of breath or like you need to stretch in between, do. There's no rush to these, um, just take your time. And please also remember to stretch afterwards. I forgot to stretch afterwards, I went straight up for a shower and I was cramping up for the rest of the day. Honestly, st stretching is underestimated a lot. Um, oh no! Here are the tricep curls. My bad guys. I th it might have been, uh, th this might be when I injured my triceps. But, um, I'm showing you there how to hold it, kind of um, cup it, cradle it. And then keep keep your elbows in as much as possible, keep your arms in, just simply behind your head, up and down. Once again, I'm repeating this so much, but you know, just do as many as possible. If you can do, if you can only do three or four, that's fine. Do it. Have a break afterwards, maybe do another set. You know, it's all about quality over quantity. Uh, if you're doing tricep curls in bad form, it's not going to do anything. If you're only doing a couple in good form, you know, that, that's going to do a lot more work for you. And uh, now we move on to a particular favourite of mine. Sarcastic, if you cannot tell. Oh, here we go. Butterfly kicks. These are absolutely horrible. But they are um, incredibly helpful getting abs. I don't know why I'm giving you advice on how to get abs. I am fat as fuck. So um, you're just going to want to put one hand on top of each other as I showed there. Put them under your bum. And um, yeah, just do what you see on screen. Um, kick your legs up and down. Point your toes. That is going to help so much. Uh, you're going to see results much quicker if you point your toes whilst kind of arcing your body uh, so you're almost half sitting up at the same time. And that is going to work your abs like crazy. By this point, you will be feeling pretty knackered, so ju just take a break if you need to, you know. Don't go and make yourself a cup of We'll start watching videos, you know, turn on your PlayStation. Just a couple of seconds, just to, um, you know, get your breath back, stretch, do whatever you need to.
now we, um, we we take the dumbbells back and we are going to squat. It, it, it's just a regular squat. Hey, we have a fucking two minute tutorial on how to squat by the Mighty Bird 2. So, uh, I think I was trying to show you on it 90 degrees there, but I, I should completely fail. Keep your heels on the ground. There you go. R roughly 90 degrees. Uh, don't keep your back straight. Keep it kind of angled. And, you know, it, it's just a normal squat, but with the dumbbells. And um, th this is going to work your legs a lot more than it looks like it does. You're going to be feeling this in your thighs, in your calves. And this is why I cramped up. This is what made me cramp up because I didn't stretch properly after doing these. You know, um, legs roughly shoulder width apart. And here you go. You're going to want to do, uh, I'd say, 10 to 15 of these. Don't do any more because if you do, you're not going to be able to walk the next day. You can hear sick, heavy breathing by me. Funnily enough, the same noise I make every time I get out of bed. Yeah, they are very tiring because they're trying to push myself. Get, I think I did 15 in the end. And push yourself, guys. You know, you can do what's comfortable or you could push yourself. Don't. It doesn't matter what people think about you. You know, I go to the gym, i say, four or five times a week at the minute. Um, you know, I've got, I've got a bad YouTube channel. I'm open about these things. I don't care what people think. So at the end of the day, if you do what you want, and you, you know, make a difference, you're going to be the one who's not regretting the decisions they made in, you know, 10, 15 years. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. You guys are the best.